I'll, I'll just say, you know, I mean, thanks for at, for speaking up. I, I just feel, like, the way I feel listening to you is how I feel when white Americans be like, how can we help the black cause, you know? And it's sometimes it's just a really tiring and exhausting question because you wonder, like, do you see what's going on? Do you, you could, you any day you wake up, you can do something that can make a difference, you know? Every day that you have a breath, you can do something to challenge the state of Israel. It's just about where do you want to begin, you know? Where, what risks are you willing to take? And what sacrifices are you willing to make in order to really stand for what you, you're claiming to stand for? So I encourage you to, to continue to, to fight whatever fight you feel you need to fight in yourself, but also um, to do the work, do the damn work. We don't, you know, I mean, Palestinians don't need to be doing all the damn work. You need to be organizing your folks, doing the work, so. It's hard for me to say this because um, I, I don't want to hurt your feelings. I don't, I don't like hurting people's feelings. Um, but so let me just preface by saying that um, I think it takes courage for you to say what you did in a group like this. But, um, but I want you to notice how you prefaced your question with um, a narrative about your own turmoil, your own inner turmoil, um, how it's affecting you, and so forth. And I think a good place to start is to understand that this is not about you. Um, when you were talking, what I was thinking about was um, this Time Magazine headline after the Sabra and Shatila massacres. Um, mm. <clears throat> the Times headline, I wrote, no, it was Newsweek. Um, it said, because um, a lot of Israelis came out to protest, and, and the headline said, Israel in turmoil. And it was really, so yeah, that's, it was, um, then what was news was how Israel was um, in turmoil over the fact that um, they had just massacred in, uh, two refugee camps full of civilians. So um, I just wanted to, to say that to you. It's, um, it's not about you, about the anguish of, uh, of, lo of losing your privilege and how that might be lost and, um, and how to deal with um, maybe the, the racism or the, uh, of, of people who are your connections in Israel and so forth. It's about you know, an entire society that um, is quite literally being erased a very ancient society with, um, with a history, with traditions, with dance and song and food and, mm. uh, and stories and trees um, that are slowly no more. Mm. 